All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I wanted to discuss something that I feel is a little bit confusing for some people. It's probably the number one upgrade that I can recommend for your pressure washer. And it comes in this little box here. Uh, this one's available on Amazon. I like this one because it comes with everything you need. You don't have to question and guess every little piece that you need. This one comes with everything. Um, it is, I'll, I'll put a link down in the description below. It is an affiliate link, um, so I make a tiny uh, commission for everything sold. Um, but if you don't want to use that, that's fine. You can just look this guy up and buy it that way. But uh, if you do want to click through the link, I really appreciate it. Um, so anyways, guys, what this is, is a set of quick connects for your pressure washer. Um, I talk about quick connects in every one of my videos. So the confusing part is a lot of people are wondering, you know, which quick connects do I need, male end, female end, and just trying to piece it all together in your head. And I understand that it gets confusing. Um, for me, when I first started doing this, I'd be at Home Depot kind of looking in the bins, trying to figure out which ones I needed. Uh, when you go to Home Depot or Lowe's, each piece is about 10 bucks, give or take. Um, and this kit alone is, I believe, right around 20 bucks, but it comes with a whole slew of attachments, um, as you can see here. So we're gonna go ahead and walk through exactly what's in here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use this Craftsman uh, electric pressure washer to, get, to just show you guys exactly where everything goes, and uh, so you guys can get your pressure washer connected with Quick Connects. The great thing about Quick Connects is it reduces wear and tear on the connection points, so you're not gonna cause any leaking. You're not constantly compressing the O-ring on the connection points uh, and the threads and all that kind of stuff. So you just tie it on in once into the Quick Connect and then that's it. Super easy for you. Um, it's faster to get set up. Again, you don't have to worry about it wearing down the connection points and uh, it's definitely something that I highly, highly recommend. The other thing is the Uberflex hose. The f hoses that these pressure washers come with aren't the best, so um, I'll link the Uberflex hose down in the description for you guys as well. All right, guys, so here's the box. We're gonna go ahead and open this up so you guys can see exactly what's in there. Now, 99% of pressure washers are going to come with, all the connection points are gonna be M22 by 14 millimeter. Now, what that means is, I'll just grab this one to show you guys. What that means is M22 is the outer ring and the threads. And then the 14 millimeter that they're talking about is this inner diameter, this little inner piece here um, is 14 millimeters. Most of them are gonna be this. Now a few pressure washers like the Sun Joe's, active pressure washers, some of the other ones you can get on Amazon um, are actually a M22 by 15 millimeter, meaning that when you go to connect this point in, the inner hole that this thing clogs up or fills in so that there's no leaks, is actually 15 millimeters, a little bit bigger than this one. So if you're using Quick Connects on something like that, you're gonna get a leak. Um, so you, all you wanna do is just get an adapter. It's called an M22 15 to M22 14 adapter. I have it linked down in the description for you guys. So if that's the case, uh, you just wanna put the adapter onto the pressure washer first and then connect these and you're good to go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and walk through this real quick. What you get in this kit, you get two M22 by 14 male connections. Two M22 by 14 female connections. And then you get two uh, little connection points for your garden hose. So this is really cool guys. For your garden hose, you can actually spin this guy on to your garden hose, a uh, little spigot and then this part onto the hose itself, and then really simply connect them together. Really, really quickly, really, really nice. Um, so I will show you guys that as well, uh, but you get two sets of those guys. So again, this kit is actually kind of overkill. They give you more than you need, um, but at the price, it's much better, because if you were to go to Home Depot or Lowe's and say buy this and this, just this one set, it's gonna cost you about 20 bucks. So they're giving you 20, 40, and then whatever these bars say, I don't know, 10 bucks between the two sets. So it's like $50 for the product in a $20 pack from Amazon. Okay guys, so the great thing about this kit is it's very self-explanatory. If you just look at the connection points, this one here, you can tell that the female end is not gonna fit there because they, they're exact same kind of threading. So you need to switch over to the female, or sorry, the male end. 
and go ahead and screw this onto your pressure washer. Uh, this is the outlet valve for the high pressure hose. So you just screw that on. Nice and easy, good to go. The great thing about these as well is guys, everything does have O-rings inside of them, so you don't need to use Teflon tape. You can, you can still coat these with Teflon tape or whatever else, and um, just to give yourself some peace of mind that it will not leak. But uh, because of the O-rings and everything else, I've never had an issue with these leaking. They're, they're fantastic. So uh, now in this video, I'm, I have the factory hose right here, the one that it comes with. Again, I'm not a fan of this because it's short, it's stiff, and it kinks. So I'm not a fan of these, and you can see it stays, in, the kink stays in the hose. So I'm not a fan of these. I definitely recommend the Uberflex hose. I'm linking that down in the description below. I put up a picture for you here somewhere. Um, but for the purposes of demonstrating how the Quick Connects work, I am just gonna use the factory hose, just so you guys can see, like, number one upgrade. This is the standard pressure washer. Pick up this little kit, and you're gonna make your life a lot easier with how easy it is to disconnect everything. So. Now that that is connected at the water outlet, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the hose. We're gonna take a female end and screw it right into the pressure washer hose uh, fitting. So as you can see, the pressure washer hose also has the O-ring. So you just push it over the O-ring so that it sits on there, slide this sleeve up, and then you can tighten it down just like that. And there you go. So you can also just grab a wrench and just tighten that down really quickly. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now, but you can do that as well. Now, moving on to the other side of the hose, we're gonna be doing the same. We're gonna be using this female connection, quick connect. So same thing, seat it on there, slide it up, and screw it down. Okay, so we are all good there. As you can see, here's our outlet point right here and we just take our hose now and instead of having to screw it in every time we just simply boom and we're done and when we're done pressure washing boom we're done super easy okay so now we have one more male end uh quick connect and where does that go that is actually going to go onto our pressure washer wand so here we go this one still has the cap on it because i have not used this we just take the cap off here's the little piece same thing, the um, O-ring sits right inside. Push it on, tighten it down. Nice and easy, and you're set. So now, we'll take the hose, one end of the hose, plug it into our water outlet, quick connected. Take the other hose side that has the other quick connect, and just like that, guys, we are ready to rock. Super, super easy. Number one upgrade to do. Um, if you don't want to invest the money into upgrading your hose, definitely invest into this because it will help the longevity of your pressure washer. You're not going to strip out these points and cause leaks and all that kind of stuff. Um, this just simplifies everything, makes it nice and easy at the connection points, and it's perfect. Um, let's go ahead and walk over to my water source now and we'll show you the quick connects for these and then we'll be good to go. All righty guys, so here we are. I'm over by my water tank. Um, this is just a filtration tank uh, so that I get nice spot free water. But I have my hose connection right here. So this doesn't matter. This could be your standard like spigot connection. Um, it could be a hose that's connected to your source. Um, maybe you have like a regular, uh, just a little spray nozzle on here for your, um, like for gardening purposes. The cool thing about this kit is that it gives you two packs of these quick connects. So whatever is normally on your uh, uh, garden hose, you can now put a quick connect on that as well. Um, and then you can just quick connect things on and off and it's super, super easy and super convenient. So what we do with the hose is we take the female end, okay? And we simply, and this, now this does have a um, little O-ring inside as well but it's not like a super, super good connection point. So I would recommend wrapping this with Teflon tape. I'll link some down below, um, just, just as a nice precautionary step. Um, but basically, I'm just here to show you guys the process on where all these go, so I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, but so that one gets the female end ready to go. Then you take the male end and you can put it onto whatever is normally on your, on your, uh, on your hose, so that way, 
you can put this into your just normal, normal little nozzle connection point and you can put this on there and then this, boom, quick connects in and you're good to go. Then when you want to get out your pressure washer, simply disconnect it and plug this one in. Now, we, for connecting it to the pressure washer, the quick connect that we need there is, again, the other male end. And I'm gonna zoom you guys down a little bit right here to our inlet for the pressure washer. That's this guy here. Oops, sorry. There you go. Let me try and lighten you guys up so you can see a little better. There we go. Okay, so that's it right there. Again, simply, I, again, with this one, I would put some um, Teflon tape on, but simply put it on there, tighten it down, and you're good to go. So just so you guys can see the visual, here is my hose, here's my pressure washer, click, click, and I'm set. My water source is connected, super, super easy and ready to go. Um, here is, so here is my favorite kind of hose. This is the Uberflex hose. As you can see, it's 50 feet long, so it's doubling the size of a normal hose that comes with these electric pressure washers. It's super, super pliable, and it does not kink. Okay, so you can get it to fold over on itself if you push really hard, but it's still not kinking. You can see the line goes straight back, and there's no kink in the line. Um, so just for the fact that these get twice the length is gonna make your life a lot easier when you're pressure washing. Pressure washing. Um, but anyways, I'm just here to show you guys really quickly. Here's the connection point. Here's the connection point on the pressure washer. And we are connected. Super simple, super easy. Other side goes to the pressure washer wand and it's, that's it. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. I hope that helps you. It's really, again, one of the simplest things you can do that's gonna make your pressure washing experience way, way better. Um, so go ahead and check out that link down below. It really helps the channel. I really hope, uh, I really hope this video helps you guys and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.